Hey, hey, team. Hey, hey, coach. How's it going, everybody? It's Coach Ben back with another online PE lesson. And today's activity is actually going to be a one-minute fitness challenge. And what that means is I'm going to give you 12 different challenges, and you're going to have 60 seconds to complete each one of those. Um, there's going to be some different exercises that you'll have to do, um, some stretching, and some different skills. Um, when you do these activities and these challenges, I really want to see that maximum effort. You're giving your best effort just like we do in class. Um, I hope you had fun with the first lesson. Um, here is lesson number two, so let's get right into it. Take a look at the one minute fitness challenge sheet. Uh, there are 12 different activities. The first one on the list, number one, is push ups. Let's take a look at those. This should be a review from yesterday. Make sure you keep your back straight, bend your elbows, and don't let your belly touch the floor. You have 60 seconds to do as many as you can. Number two on the fitness challenge list is all about flexibility. How many muscles or how many stretches can you do safely and when you're doing your stretches, I want you to hold your stretches for at least 10 seconds. Here are some examples. Stretching your muscles is not always comfortable, so make sure you're taking slow, deep breaths while you're stretching. Be sure to stretch your upper body and your lower body. three on the list is sit-ups. When you do sit-ups you're challenging your abdominal strength and endurance. Let's take a look at an example. Alright you're gonna lay down flat on the ground. You're gonna bend your knees and keep your feet flat on the floor. If you need to you can have someone hold your feet for you. You're going to keep your hands by your ears and you want to try and bring your elbows all the way up to your knees. The next challenge, challenge number four, is throwing and catching, working on hand-eye coordination and those throwing and catching skills. When you do this one, make sure that you use a light foam ball or you can use a paper ball. Just get a piece of paper and crinkle it up. Or you can go outside and use a football or a baseball or any kind of ball that you have. five on the fitness challenge list is to go and get some water. It's very important to stay hydrated and to rest and recover from your exercises. For the next activity on the fitness challenge is jump and think. For this one, you need a jump rope. And if you have a jump rope, you also need a safe place to use your jump rope. So if you have a jump rope, go and get it. If you don't have a jump rope, it's no big deal. Just pull that imaginary jump rope out of your pocket and use that one. The best thing about the imaginary jump rope is that you can never mess up. Now the real challenge here is what you have to do is while you're jumping rope, 
you have to try and name as many fruits as you can. Go ahead and give it a try. Good luck. Here is the challenge. You must jump rope and name as many fruits as possible as you are jumping rope. Ready, set, go. Peaches, bananas, grapes, bana bananas, apples, uh, nectarines, um, potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Now it's your turn, Dad. Name as many fruits as you can when you do jumping jacks. Ready? Yeah. Apples, bananas, oranges, grapes, blueberries, strawberries, mangoes, watermelon, cantaloupe. All right, guys, number seven on the fitness challenge list is exercise band curls. Now, I don't expect anybody to have an exercise band, but you can use items around your house for this exercise. And it says, how many curls can you do with an exercise band or anything else you can put in your hands? Um, Zach is going to use cans. He has two cans of black beans and two cans of tomato sauce. And we're gonna work our arms and try and make our biceps stronger by working and improving the, your muscular strength and your muscular endurance. Good luck. I also wanted to remind everybody that when you're doing this exercise, if you are lifting something up, you shouldn't be lifting anything that's really heavy. Um, so don't go and try and curl your... Um, so don't go and try and curl your couch or your little brother and just make sure that you're careful that you don't drop anything on your toes. All right, so check it out. The first thing you need to do is you need to stand up in your superhero stance. Proud chest, shoulders up and back. You're gonna straighten your arms all the way down and you're gonna bend your elbows so that the cans or whatever you're holding comes all the way up and all the way down. Try to keep that back nice and straight and make sure that you're going nice and slow. Don't go too fast. Be safe with this one and get strong. All right guys, number eight on the fitness challenge sheet is a plank. How long can you hold a plank on an exercise ball? Now I don't even have an exercise ball at home so you can just use the floor. That would be just fine. Um, the plank is very very similar to the push-up it's going to be the same exact technique except for the fact that you're not bending your elbows you're not coming down to the floor and you're not coming back up uh, there's two types of planks that I want you to try I want you to try a plank where you are resting on your elbows and then I want you to try a plank where you are resting on your hands where your arms are straight you'll see Zach demonstrate both types of planks. See if you can hold the plank for all 60 seconds. Good luck. All right guys, number nine on the minute fitness challenge is balance and think. For this one, all you have to do is you're going to try to balance on one foot and name as many vegetables as you can. Now, if you want to balance on your right foot and switch to your left foot or the other way around, that is fine. But really focus on your balance and have fun with this one. See if you can balance for at least 60 seconds or longer. <laughs> Let's take a look at number 10 on the fitness challenge list. This one is jump rope tricks. So if you have a jump rope, make sure you go grab the one you had earlier 
And if you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. You can just take that imaginary jump rope right out of your pocket and you can do as many different tricks as you can. Um, try to do it for at least 60 seconds and feel free to do it longer. And if you mess up on one of your tricks, don't give up, keep trying. And if you have that imaginary jump rope, the good thing is you can't mess up. Good luck with this one and have some fun. <laughs> for number 11 on the minute fitness challenge is your heart rate you're gonna take your pulse for a full minute and you're gonna count how many times your heart beats within that minute now there's a couple ways that you can do this you can put your fingers right underneath your jaw on the on your neck and put a little bit of pressure right underneath your jawbone and you should be able to feel your pulse you can feel it on your wrist, right below the heel of your hand, kind of like where you would wear a watch. And you need to put a little bit of pressure there also. And then the last place is you, if you put your hand on your chest, like you're saying the Pledge of Allegiance, right over your heart and put some pressure on your chest, you should be able to feel your heart beat through your chest. Um, like I said, I want you to count how many times your heart beats in 60 seconds. Hey, we made it to number 12, the final challenge of the Minute Fitness Challenge activity. And this one is going to be your individual assessment. So take a look at yourself. Uh, what were your strengths? What were your weaknesses? Were there some exercises that you did really well at? Were there some exercises that you need to improve on? Um, I want you to take a look at the list and just kind of go through each one and just assess each exercise and how you did. Um, I hope you really had fun with this activity. You can go back through and do it again. Um, and remember, as you're doing this activity, make sure that you're pausing the video if you need to, to go get equipment and to get set up and you can replay it um, as many times as you would like to. All right, so here we go. We have two competitors. We have Zach Shemansky versus Peyton the Crazy Wild Dog. We're gonna race to see who can get the ball. On your mark. Get set, go. Who's gonna get it? <laughs> and Peyton is victorious. All right, here he comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> 